Felipe Massa has continued further with his quest to get what he feels is rightfully his, the first and sole championship in his career, one he lost to Hamilton by just one point back in 2008. But with this subject being 15 years old and being prone to opening a lot of old wounds on the way of doing so, how will the Supreme Court in London decide about this matter? And more importantly, what are the consequences that the rest of the championships, like the one in 2021, would take? Lewis Hamilton's first championship has been brought under a huge question mark yet again, after Felipe Massa has decided to take things into a further matter and submit his appeal to London's High Court. Obviously, the main reason is the Crashgate scandal that happened at the inaugural Singapore Grand Prix when Nelson Piquet Jr. was instructed to crash intentionally to enable his teammate Alonso to win the race. And during this sequence, Massa has already changed tyres and lost a lot of positions, especially to Hamilton, who went on to finish third while Massa finished outside of the points. On the 11th of March, a statement came from Massa's legal representatives, confirming that the lawsuit against the bodies affected by this case has been submitted to London, as the official letter says, Mr. Massa is seeking declarations that the FIA breached its regulations by failing to promptly investigate Nelson Piquet Jr.'s crash at the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix, and that had it acted properly, Mr. Massa would have won the Drivers' Championship that year. Mr. Massa also seeks damages for the significant financial loss he suffered due to the FIA's failure, in which Mr. Eccleston and FOM were also complicit. As Mr. Eccleston has admitted, there was enough information in time to investigate the matter in 2008 and cancel the race in Singapore. Mr. Eccleston further affirmed that had the results of the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix been cancelled, Felipe Massa would have become world champion and that Mr. Massa was cheated out of the title he deserved. And apart from the championship that Massa is seeking back, one that he's claiming won't do any good deed for him because it's been done quite a while ago and the only reason he's doing this is to set a right standard in the sport, the Brazilian is also looking for a huge cash compensation amid all of the trouble that he has gone through in the past 15 years. The traumatised podium in Brazil, one in which he thought he won the championship but turned out to lose it just because Hamilton passed Glock in the last corner of Interlagos, is seemingly estimated at around 60 to 150 million pounds of compensation money, and this matter has been declined to be commented on by the FOM when they were contacted by motorsport.com. Furthermore, the law firm that Massa hired for this case continued to say that attempts to find an amicable resolution have been unsuccessful, which left the Brazilian driver with no other choice but to pursue this action. Massa has also expected support from Ferrari in this case, even though the entire leadership of the team has changed in the past 15 years, and that is one of the main reasons why the Maranello team will be put under a huge pressure to decide which side they'll be taking in this case. The argument that Massa is making, and it's quite a solid one, is that the F1 knew about this scandal, led by Bernie Eccleston, and they did nothing to prevent or neutralise the results from it. The aftermath was that the Renault team's principal and sporting director, Flavio Briatore and Pat Simmons, were both fired and suspended from the sport. But that didn't help Massa's case, who went on to lose significant amount of points in the championship. And in case you're wondering why this is happening actually 15 years after it originally happened, it's because the fact that F1 knew about Crashgate but decided not to neutralise the results from the race and information that was leaked originally by Bernie Eccleston, but the former F1 chairman went on to deny these claims afterwards, further adding to the mess. Now, Massa has filed a lawsuit not only against Formula One as a sport, but also the FIA and Bernie Eccleston, and it seems like he has a lot of hope that the 2008 championship would be given to him, because that's how justice should be served in his own liking. According to the former Ferrari driver, the situation in Singapore was completely manipulated, and it is related to sabotage, being a completely different matter to some other mistakes that have been made in separate championships, one that depended massively on mistakes from officials, crashes, or maybe results that were not corrected by the FIA due to the technical issue. Bernie Eccleston's statement is what fueled the fire 15 years after the scandal originally happened, and when talking about this matter in a further extent, the former chairman of Formula One went on to say, Max Mosley, the president of the FIA, and I were informed during the 2008 season what had happened in the race in Singapore. PK Jr. had told his father Nelson that he had been asked by the team to drive into the wall at a certain point in order to trigger a safety car phase, and such to help his teammate Alonso. PK Jr. was worried about his contract extension, so he was under a lot of pressure and agreed. We decided not to do anything for now. We wanted to protect the sport and save it from a huge scandal. That's why I used angelic tongues to persuade my former driver Nelson Piquet to keep calm for the time being. That scandal has arisen now, and it seems like Felipe Massa won't stop until he gets what he feels is rightfully his, although you could easily make the argument that the outcome of this race shouldn't be put as the primary cause as to why Massa lost the championship in the first place, 
something we'll elaborate on right now. Whether Massa was in the right to do so, it's up to every racing fan to decide, however, we need to look at the facts from the neutral point of view. For example, it's not PK's fault that the Massa received the green light prematurely while pitting for fresh sets of tyres and went off with the hose that fueled his car. And it's not Pico's fault that Hamilton drove a masterclass of a race in Silverstone in the rain, while Massa spun dozens of times and was nowhere near the championship level you'd expect. The same argument could be made about the 2021 championship as well. Even though the circumstances are vastly different in this one, was manipulated by the governing body itself, not sabotaged by the team's strategy like in 2008. And in case Massa goes on to win this appeal, the Pandora box he would be opening does have the potential to hurt the sport's legacy and popularity in the long run. Because if you think about it deeply, Hamilton would be a six-time world champion, being robbed of two of his championships in his career. This one in 2008, and the one he personally feels the most painful in 2021. Even the seven-time world champion talked about this matter, saying that the situation is vastly different because when he was battling with Verstappen, neither one of the teams intervened with the results. It was the body that was supposed to keep racing clean and out of controversy that made things so difficult and painful for him. More trouble has been made thanks to Eccleston's statements, who first went on to say that 2008 could have been altered due to the fact that they had enough information back in time, but then went on to deny these statements and that they came from his mouth. Regardless, the penalties that Pat Simmons and Flavio Briatore suffered back then showed that this race will remain to be a dark mark in the history of the sport. But a much more important question arises. Will the High Court in London actually change the history of the sport? And what kind of domino effect will that have on the sport in general? Hamilton has already expressed a determination to not get involved in this entire case of Felipe Massa. And in case it does, then it would cause a cascade of actions. Ones in which he would definitely raise the question about the 2021 championship. Again, if we were to put both cases on the same wage, the 2021 championship would be much more prone to being changed in Hamilton's favour, because the result was interfered by the governing body, and not by a team's tactic that the FIA had to find out a couple of months or years later. Regardless of that, it would put another huge black spot on the sport, because it would create nothing more than controversies left and right in such a sensitive time when people started to focus more on racing and less on the controversial results back from 2021. But also something interesting about the 2021 situation is that, if they were to do something against it, it probably will only be that the points from Abu Dhabi won't count for both Hamilton and Verstappen, which technically doesn't change anything in the championship as they will be on equal points with Max having won more races. With all of this in mind, the 2008 championship will still hang in the air while the decision would be hurtful for either side, it's safe to assume that there would be lots of people who will still have a lot of negative stuff to say whether Massa would win this case or not. After all, deciding on a championship that's been wrapped up 15 years ago and shouldn't have come to one race only had Massa been more successful in races like Silverstone goes to show that there's a lot at stake here and the sport needs to react properly. Do you think that Massa has a legitimate chance of winning the appeal in the High Court in London? Let us know in the comments below.